Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo. And today I wanted to share with you guys my favorite non-Samsung digital pen. Now this one over here is made by Stedler. This is the old version, like the old style that I used from years ago. I think I got this one maybe four years ago. And then I was able to find a brand new version on Amazon just the other day. And the thing that's pretty funny with this one over here, which I'll show you, you know, how these things work and how you can get it all paired up and things like that. Uh, but the thing about it was when you go inside of Amazon and you wanted to purchase this, you can see that I've purchased this one on August 22nd and it arrived on the 28th. But when I looked over here, it stated they weren't even in stock at least at that point until September 20th. So don't really always go by these dates here uh, they can always come in a lot quicker as you can see with this order now also on this box it does state that it does work with Chromebook but I wanted to show and prove today that it also does work with Samsung phones all of the Wacom technology is really the exact same it's that layer of screen that layer of technology that allows your uh, S Pen or digital pen to work with your phone now as of right now these will not work as long as the S Pen is in your phone uh, if you were to take out the S Pen, this thing will work. If you wanted to allow multiple S Pens, that is how you're able to keep this S Pen in here by allowing you to do something else with a different S Pen. So let's say we go inside of Advanced Features, we go inside of S Pen. This is where you turn on Allow Multiple Pens. Now you will be able to use this one and you'll also be able to use uh, this pen over here, which is the one that we will open up. I just wanted to show you that this has been something I've personally used for over four years and honestly, you know, it does not disappoint. So when you open up this packaging, Again, even though it is really only directed at Chromebook, uh, so if you own a Chromebook, this will work for that as well. So this is the packaging. When you take this out, you can see that there is not going to be that little cover that was a part of this one here, um, but everything works the same way. It's almost the exact same size. It says digital, Norse Digital for Chromebook, but again, still works with Samsung. Also over here, you will have extra additional tips and the little tip ejector tool. So you'd be able to pull out a tip if for some reason you use it so often uh, that the tip kind of goes uh, a little dull and a little flat. You wanna have that super fine tip that is a part of this. Now, the really only downside you have of this one here is that there is no button. Because this one is not made by Samsung, it will not have that button. Oh, by the way, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials about your Samsung Galaxy phones, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And also, if you are interested in this pen, I will be placing the link below the video inside of the description. So you have to remember that this one over here is made by Samsung. It has all of the Samsung technology. So because of this button, it allows for you to interact with your phone even when you're not using it. So even if I was to draw inside of Samsung Notes, I can switch my pens, I can switch my utensils, I can turn on the eraser in just a second. This one is just gonna be for anybody who wants something that just feels like a pencil. This is the exact same size and weight as a regular everyday pencil, but you're able to use it on the screen. So let's say that we just go inside of Samsung Notes. I wanted to create something new uh, and there you go. Now, if you wanted to see, you know, just how quick, um, you know, and the responsiveness of this is, I mean, it's, it's following that pen. Uh, let's say that I was to switch this background color. Let's go to something just a little bit brighter. So now you can see the tip of the pen and you can just see that it's able to follow and do just as well as a normal S Pen. So as we draw around here. So let's go through and try it out with another color. So let's go to a pen. Uh, and then with this one here, you can see it's pretty thin. And then now it's thicker. Uh, and so it will pick up if you were to press it harder or thinner, just like the S Pen right over here. So L, L. So it's just one of those really cool things that you're able to go off, you can purchase. Now it is always fun to have just another digital pen laying around the house. Just remember that if you do put this around other pencils or pens, uh, that this one is just a, uh, a digital pen. 
and you don't want to grab a real pen start writing on this one uh, you just want to make sure that you're safe with that one too so what i love the most about this one here this newer version style is that it is a little bit lighter in color and it's also almost half the price the older one that i purchased earlier was right around 45 or 50 dollars this one is half that at 25. Uh, it's really nice if you wanted to have other digital pens around the house maybe you're sitting at your office and maybe you're a little bit more comfortable using something like this then you're able to use it the only thing you have to keep in mind is that when you do turn on multiple s pens it will take a little bit more of your battery it states that it will drain your battery because now what's going to happen with this you know allowing of multiple s pens because i have the s pen back in there because of allowing multiple s pens it will always keep that layer of screen on that is why it takes a little bit more battery so if you're in the office and you wanted to use this and you don't want to use uh, and take up more of your battery by turning on allowing multiple S pens. Just take the S pen out, keep it to the side, and then you're able to use this one. I just wanted to show this off. You know, I do I recommend it? I think it's actually really fun to have. And I do use this one when I'm at my YouTube desk right here. I have both of these sitting here all the time. This one's been here for the last couple years. Uh, then this one was just added to the arsenal just a couple days ago. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later